welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm doing a summer special for the Golden Gap course, which is next weekend. Great time to trade gaps in the summer. Why? Because gap moves happen very fast and very quick in the morning. Summer is not a time that you want to sit at your desk for eight to 10 hours a day, or even the six and a half hours that the market is open. It's a time to be outside and enjoy your life. So if you have questions or you'd like to sign up, you can email me at melissathestockswish.com or call me at 929-3200-GAP. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So like I was saying, summer is a great time to trade gaps. Why? Stocks that are gapping, golden gaps, make 80% of the move in the morning in the first half an hour, hour of the day. So I'm sometimes in trades five minutes. Could be less than that. And again, if you're doing options, you put the trade on and you could put a sell order, and if the sell order hits, you're out. It's really the time of the year where you want to make sure you get the biggest move in the fastest amount of time that you can, because there's something called the summer doldrums, which a lot of people take off in the summer, and people go on vacation. And then the market kind of goes sideways in the afternoon, it really goes nowhere, and it loses the volume. When we're trading in the morning, we're looking for those fast, really fast, big, huge, super big moves, and again, that's what you're getting with the gap. <laughs> so if you'd like more information and if you'd like to sign up, you must email me for the sign up forms for the summer special. If you want to sign up for the Golden Gap course by June 7th, the class is the 8th and 9th, so you'd have to sign up by Friday. And then you'd have to sign up to get the special. The class tuition is $69.99. You would get the options newsletter free through the end of this year and the trading room free through the end of this year. It's a good deal. The class tuition is $69.99, and again, that's $6,999. So you would get all of my trades, options, and live trades in the room until the end of 2024. Again, the class is online, so you could be anywhere in the world and take it, and you must be there live, okay? Anyways, as I was saying, it's a great time to trade in the summer. Lots of people want to make money in the market, some full-time, some part-time. Not everybody does. Why? because they don't have a good strategy. They're not consistent. They don't know what they're doing. They're basically gambling. It's really, when if you, if you think about it logically, it makes complete sense that you have to work smarter, not harder. So I condense my time in the morning, do my prep work. I'll, I take more time prepping and deciding and analyzing and organizing what I wanna train. There's more time that I spend doing that than actually in the trade. So again, it's about getting the right pick and working smarter, not harder to make money. Lots of people really lose money training or don't go any go get anywhere with the trading because they lack a foundation and they lack the consistency. So the fact is that you need a foundation to trade. For me, it is the golden gap. You need an infrastructure for every entry and it's the strategy. Lots of people take entries and they call it a strategy. They email me, I said, what are you doing? What's your strategy? They tell me that they bought on support. That's not a strategy. Okay, maybe that's their entry. They bought it on a, you know, an indicator crisscrossing or something. That's an entry. That's where they took the entry. That's not the strategy. And that's not going to work consistently. <laughs> the strategy is the core reason behind why you're even watching that stock in the first place or even contemplating an entry in it or any trade at all. An entry in a stock should not be taken unless the trade has a foundation supporting it. And, and, and one of the reasons many people lose who are trading is they take entries that they think is a strategy and it's not, and there's no foundation supporting it. So this is very important fact. Many stocks in any given day have no strategy to trade as a day trade or an option. And that is why in most days stocks do not have a proper entry because there is no strategy. So what is my strategy? It's gaps, or specifically what I call golden gaps. So gaps are a strategy or a foundation for your trades in the market. When you choose to take a trade, there has to be a support system behind why you're taking the trade in the first place, okay? And this is what, again, I teach in the class. Gaps of the support system are a reason why you would enter a position. The reason you are choosing to enter a stock or the foundation for your entries should be because the stock is a quality gap. So what is a gap? A gap is a difference between the close and the open. Stocks gap most every single day. Not every gap is what I call a good gap or, or a golden gap. I'm looking for gaps that are predictable. They have a high odds of working. And that's why I coined my 
uh, whole system and strategy, the golden gap has high odds. It's like finding gold in the market if I find a golden gap and I'm looking for one a day. And again, how do I do this? I use my gap rating system. So here was AMD. Again, what happened here? Stock closed here, gap down, open dropped. Okay, this was May 1st. So what is a gap? A gap is the difference between the close and the open. Stock closed here at four o'clock, open the next day at 9.30, fell. This is a daily chart. Here's another one we did, Disney. Stock closed here, gap down. Closed up here around 117 and change. Gap down here in the morning around 107 and change. Open, dropped. Again, this was on May 7th. This is a daily chart of Disney. So again, gaps happen almost every single day in the market, but there's not a golden gap every single day, most days, but not every single day. Some days we don't do anything. Some days I get up and there's multiple golden gaps, and then I might do two or three trades a day as an option, but I prefer to do one day trade a day if I'm doing that. Again, it's very, very, very specific what I'm looking for. I'm trying to find the best, best, best gap. So if I get up tomorrow morning and there isn't any golden gaps at rate per the 26 point system, I'm not gonna trade. If I get up Tuesday and there is one, I will trade. If I find five golden gaps, I'm not gonna do five day trades at once. I will do them as options, which is why it's beneficial to be on the options newsletter and also to day trade. Because it's, it's a lot to do five day trades at once all in the first half hour of the day. Now, here was the entry we did on May 7th for the Disney. This was a day trade. You would have had to have a margin account to do it. Entry was 102.60. We added at 40. Then the average price was 102.50. The exit was 101.55. Profit was $6,650. I don't think this is an expensive stock. I think this was a mid-price point stock to me. We've done things that are more expensive. We've done things that are a lot less expensive than this. But again, you need a margin account to do this trade. Or you could have done a put. We actually did do puts in this as well, okay? But anyways, what I like about day trades is how you can get in and out of this so fast and be nimble. So I'm flat every day in my day trades before four o'clock. I may not be out of my options before four. Again, this is a one minute. Stock close here, gap down, open, dropped, boom. This is what I call the move, the push, the money move here where this came all the way down. Again, um, actually no, this is the different day. I'm just looking at this here. That was on, this isn't the trade for the seventh. I'm looking at this here. This is the trade for the 15th. So the one minute I showed you, we did too. Just looking at this here. This is a trade for the 15th that I have in here. It was that day. So the one minute chart I have is for this day, which we did, I'll go back and show you that. The trade I have in here though, this was for this day here, the 15th. We entered in this here and we got the drop down in here and you see where I got out. I could have held this even more. I got out before the low of the day in this. But getting back to this, here's the one minute, I don't have this trade in here, but this was on the seventh. We did short this too. We shorted this here, then we got the drop here and I just want to show you where this went. So that we actually did two trades in this and we actually did different puts and different strikes. So this was the seventh, this was the day of the earnings or that was at nighttime, we did the earnings here, got the trade, got in, got out, we did a put. We also did this here and this is the one that's this trade here, just so you know. Anyways, one was news, okay? One was earnings. Some would ask me before about gaps. Stocks gap for different reasons. Stocks will gap for news. Stocks will gap with the market, with the overall market. Stocks will gap on earnings. Of course, you don't know until the earnings what it does. We were not in Disney prior to the earnings. Could have gapped up. And again, we shorted this. This was a short, we did puts, which is a short. Stocks also gap with a sector, okay? So you have had many things going on with the financials where the financial sector will all gap together, could be up or down. You could have something in this sector react to the Disney earnings, that's not Disney specifically, okay? So again, there's lots of reasons for stocks to gap. I'm not going through the earnings report and reading that. I'm not looking through the fundamentals. 
And you can't say, oh, well, this is bad news. It's going to gap down. I'm going to short it. No, it could be bad news and it gaps up. It could be bad news. It gaps down and rallies. Okay. Again, I went through the process of rating the gap here with Disney, which is why I liked it. So like I was saying about the morning, it's a critical time in the morning to be able to actually trade and focus within that 9.30 to 10 a.m. period. So if you'd like to make money fast and be in and out and work from home, then this is something that you may want to look into. I decided I wanted to trade for a different career, for a new career. And again, you know, when I decided I wanted to do this, I was wanting to change careers. If you're someone that has been wanting to do this and change careers for a long time, this may be something that you want to look into. It's really up to you. It's what you want to focus on and what you want to do in the overall market. Anyways, it's about financial independence too, because a lot of people are finding that they may enjoy the career right now, but as far as what they're doing, they're not making ends meet because of the economy, because of the high costs of things. I mean, there's nothing that we can do about inflation. Again, the Fed thinks raising rates is going to curb inflation. That's not really what's been happening, in my opinion. I've been discussing that on TV for the last year. Inflation is still going up. Prices are still going up. It's just not going up as much as it was post-COVID. I still think it's a problem. And if for some reason the Fed would raise rates again this year, that could create a sell-off in the market. So it'll be interesting to see really what happens. So what will you learn? You're going to learn how to find the best bearish gaps. Now, why do I focus on shorts? I focus on shorts because stocks fall faster than they rally, okay? So again, when that happens, you wanna take advantage of it as best as you possibly, possibly can. A lot of people that are trading the market are gambling and that is never gonna get the results that you want. It's a 50-50 crap shoot of worse odds than that. When I look at a stock and I look at a trade, despite the fact that I put the stop in and I set my risk, I'm looking at it as having high odds because I've been using this system for 16 years and again, I created it. So it's a 26 point system, but I'm looking for 20 points or more. That's my criteria and what I'm looking for. And again, you only really need one pick a day. Whether you do as a day trade or whether you do as an option is completely up to you. This was Starbucks, just wanna show you this here. Starbucks closed here, gap down, open, dropped. Again, this was a short. So if you're someone that's been trading alone, it's very difficult. You don't have someone to ask questions to or follow. The nice thing about the summer special is you get to follow my trades for the rest of 2024. And if this is something that you wanna work and you're an independent mind in person and you're really entrepreneurial and you wanna do this for yourself, you can learn how to do it and you can do it for yourself. I teach you everything in the class, all the entries, all the setups, all of the 26 points, you will learn it in the class to be able to make your own pick. And really learning helps your own conviction helps you be able to do it, helps you be able to make decisions. And that's extremely important because learning from someone may cost you money up front, but it saves you money in the end. You learn how to focus and you learn how to trade smart. So the class is called the Golden Gap Course. It's June 8th and 9th, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time. Class to wish it is $69.99. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. The Trends course is June 11th. The combo for both those classes, you save $500, is $79.99. If you want to sign up for that, you will also be eligible for the special as long as you sign up by June 7th. And again, the summer special is if you sign up for the Golden Gap course by June 7th, you will get the trading room and the options newsletter free through the end of 2024. Class tuition for the Golden Gap is $69.99. And again, if you want to do the combo, you get a second class. It's $79.99. Email me if you want to sign up for sign up forms. Have a great day, everyone.